Hello everyone, and this is the final game of the Tangelina 1993 Jamboree. It's the finale game, the highlight game I should say, between the Amy Warriors and the Kentwood Kangaroos. Both teams went far in the playoffs. I think they both had quarterfinal losses last year in their respective groups. Kentwood in double A, A meet in triple A. Kentwood now drops to single A. High hopes for both these teams. Anticipation is great for both these clubs. Just had the flip. A meet will kick off. Kentwood will receive. Let's talk a little bit about both these teams as they're both heavy favorites for the playoffs at this time. A meet's going to be ranked in the top three behind, I think, behind Carr and Cecilia. Kentwood ranked number two behind Evangel, Evangel Christian Academy. They both have great players of their own. Since Kentwood gets the ball first, we'll start with them. Of course, back from last year is Terrell Hookfin, who threw for 1,600 yards, rushed for 700 more in 1992. They have 13 seniors returning and a good-looking freshman class. Hook Finn's a two-year starter. He should get plenty of time throwing from an offensive line, which has some big guys, Darius Newton. Also back is senior guard, Kenrick Wilson. And another Hook Finn, Quentin Hook Finn's back at tight end. The kicks, line drive kicked, and it's picked up by number 41, Albert Baptiste, and downed right there. Tensions are high, both these clubs. Doing a little taunt, going back and forth. Back in the backfield for Kentwood. There's some pretty good running backs. See number 44, Willis Williams, will be back this year at fullback. Starting is number 72, Michael Car Caronzi, Corey Putman, Kendrick Wilson, also <laughs> Keith Dunn. At the wide out, number 23, Will Dunn, and number 15, Corey Taylor. Look for both those guys to get the ball a lot. Also, the tailback position is number 10, Kenyatta Brown. Taylor's in motion. Hook Finn's going to drop back and throw the first time. He's got a wide open Taylor. He's, he picks up 11, 12 yards before he's brought down by big number 65 for the Amy Warriors, and that is Terrell Smith. Now let's talk about this Amy defense, a defense that returns, get this, nine starters led by second team All-State linebacker Montre Walker. Also back is the defensive end Cedric Tillman, the other defensive end Dalton Harrell, linebackers Delwyn Perkins and Terrell Smith. Hookfin gives up the middle to Brown. He's stopped by a wall of Amy defenders led by number 23, Delwyn Perkins. Also, back is some DBs from on, on this Amy defense. Travis Day and Keith Burton, Alan Richard and Stevie McGee, number six, are all back this year. Richard will definitely hit you, and Keith Burton is a headhunter. On the, on the left side corner, number four. So we, we've kind of summed it up for you. Both these teams have high hopes this year. Hook Finn, second and 11. Overthrows a, a receiver number 83, Eric Carter. It'll be third and 10. Benny, looks like Kentwood's gonna mix up the run with the pass. But they're getting a lot of pressure from these a -Meet Warriors as the Warriors, as you mentioned, do have a solid defense. And let's definitely not sh not sell Kentwood short with Terrell Hookfin, who is a tremendous quarterback. And he's got a lot of weapons around him. So it'll bring up a third down and nine. And, let, and Benny, we failed to mention one thing. It's brother against brother, Kentwood and a -Meet. And it's going to be a, a good match there. That's always a thing of pride. So Hook Finn's got him up at the line. Taylor goes in motion. It's a end around reverse to number 23. Well done. Picks up a nice gain. He pick up of eight where he's met by number six, Steve McGee. 
Good play right there. It's going to be bring up about fourth and about one as the Kangaroos get a generous spot. They'll be forced to punt. <laughs> and we'll get to take a look at it for the first time. This a meet offense that's been in question. A lot of a lot of seniors off this team are gone. A couple of good players back, namely Rusty Barrelu, Tyrus Mabry. New receivers. The punt, line drive punt. It's caught by Stevie McGee at the ten. Puts a move on one guy and then he's hit. Run number twenty-three. Will Dunn brought down about the sixteen-yard line. <coughs> where the A meet offense will take over. And should say gone is Rod Deemer. And what a year Rod Deemer had passed for 1,800 yards and ran for another 1,000. Gone is Greg Petrer. Gone is Damon Foster, two big linemen. Also, the Foster receiver is gone. We got new receivers out there this year and a new quarterback. Andre Davis, number 14. Little counter, give it to number 30, Kevin Wilson. He picks up about 10, good enough for the first down. We might add, Marty, that Tyrus Mabry, one of the big recruits in the state this year, along with Rusty Barrelou, two guys that are both in the top 30 and 40, respectively, in the state, are, are on this team back. Mabry's out, the tailback. That's going to hurt them a little bit. He's the go-to guy this year. Benny, that's exactly right. a -Meet is basically, they run the wide open offense and they've built it around Tyrus Mabry, who is out with an ankle injury. And uh, I don't think Coach Career wanted to get him hurt for this game, so he's going to have him ready next week, is from what I've heard. Looks like a little uh, counter tray. Delwyn Perkins picks up the first down, so it'll bring up a first and 10 for this wide open offensive a -Meet team. And for the defense, this year for the Kentwood Kangaroos. Couple guys back, Darius Newton. Also, Newton Lee, you know, Newton's back. He's an outstanding defensive player. He was a all first team, all state performer last year. Also back is Willis Williams, an all district performer. And uh, defensive back, Aaron, Eric Carter, who's also an all district uh returner. So there's quite a few returners on this team that were pretty good players last year. Are they big enough and strong enough to hold this big offensive line of Amy? We'll just have to wait and find out. Newcomers, a couple important newcomers, is big number 69. Adrian Zander, 6'5", 230. Nice pass over the middle. From Davis is completed to Kevin Wilson. Pick up about seven. It's going to be third and two. <laughs> Benny Wilson just went in motion and went out to the flats, and Adrian Davis rolled to his left and hit Wilson for a pickup of about eight yards. Benny, every year, A. Meet seems to find a younger player. Last year, uh, Perkins and Ricard stepped it up, and now this year with number 30. With uh, Stevie Wilson, Kevin. Kevin Wilson, I'm sorry. So it brings up a third and one, and he's handed straight up the middle to Kendall Tate for a pickup of four, and he has the first down as he follows the lead block of big number 60, Rusty Barrelow, along with big number 71, Randolph Johnson. <laughs> This year, quarterback, as we're saying, new quarterback, Adrian Davis. Not the, qu not the quick runner like Rod Deemer, but a steady quarterback, takes his time and gets the job done. Davis rolling out to the right side. He's looking, he's got a wide open O to B, and he overthrows O.B. Dillon. Almost picked off there by number 11, Terrell Hookman, who just came out of nowhere to show you his speed. He sure did, Benny. That was just a simple fly route to number 80. Pretty good pass by Davis, but he, it was just a little bit overthrown, and Hook Finn showed great closing speed by closing in on the ball. 
I tell you what, you're you're not going to get much over these Kentwood Kangaroos. They're full of athletes, and uh, I don't see anybody coming in and and uh, running down their throats. They're a tough ball club, talent laden indeed. So it brings up second down and ten for the Warriors, and a single back trips right. Miller goes in motion. It was a it was a screen pass to number 25. Adrian Harrell, he just couldn't hold on to the ball. <laughs> so that'll bring up a third and 10 for the Warriors. Benny was a nice play right there. They Miller went in motion and they, they, they let the rush pursue and they brought the two linemen out and it was gonna set up a screen and he, it was set up perfectly and he just dropped the ball. So we'll bring up third and 10 for the Warriors as Davis brings his troops up to the line. He's got two receivers split out right, two backs in the wing back, Franklin alone on the left. He rolls out to the right. He's looking. Man wide open. Another another miss by number 44, Richard Jackson. Uh, and the Warriors are forced to punt right there. In and out of the hands. Back to receive the punt. And this is unusual as uh, number 11, Terrell Hook fan, so he's doubling up quarterback, free safety, and punt return. Punting for the A Meat Warriors is number four, Keith Burton, the big corner. Nice punt, beautiful punt. Hook fan, it's a nice catch, he makes a good move. He slips down at about the 10 yard line. Well, he'll try to Start up his offense, first and 10 from their own 10 with 7.08 with a no score in the first half. That was a great punt that time by Keith Burton. It sure was, Benny. He got nice hang time and a, about a 45-year-old punt. Very impressive for a, for a kicker, especially in high school. Had a beautiful, nice, tight spiral on it and good coverage by the Warriors. So it'll bring up a first and 10 for the Kentwood Kangaroos at their own 11-yard line. Terrell Hookfin with two receivers spread out left and a one back set, one receiver to the right and a tight end. A meets moving around on defense. Hookfin fakes it up the middle. He's rolling right. He's being pursued and he's stopped by number 22, Alan Ricard. Right there, Benny, he just faked it up to the middle and kept himself and but A meet didn't bite on it, bite on it, and they uh, the defensive ends close it in for the linebacker Ricard to come up and make the stop. Well, uh, it'll be second down at about eight yards to go as Hook Finn only picked up about two yards. He spread his receivers out on the near side. Kenyatta Brown and number 23, Will Dunn. Hook Finn's going to run it again, and he's going to be stopped for a loss by big number 50, Jonathan Foster. And the Fosters continue, a 6'2", 210-pound junior at one defensive end. Three-step drop, he's got a man open, and his receiver slips down. And that looked like a good pass and a good play as they spread the defensive backs there. The pass was intended for Kenyatta Brown, but the Kangaroos will be forced to punt with 5.36 remaining in the first half as it's fourth and 11. Right there, Brown was wide, was open for a split second. Hook Finn had him in the seam. Brown just slipped down, so back to punt is number 27, Tim Carter, back deep to receive is Steven, and it's blocked by number 79. And he falls down for a Warrior score. Benny, who is that big number 79? Ricky Fabry. Big Earl Tillman sneaks through the middle for a block and recovers the, 
and recovers the fumble. He's a 6'1", there's another big sophomore that we talked about earlier as the Warriors make it big on a special team, something they had problems with last year. So obviously Coach Career has worked on that and it's paid off early in the season. So with 5.28 to go, the Warriors take a 6-0 lead with number five, Fabian Franklin attempting the PAT. Travis Day will be your holder. Just as we talk about the special teams, Benny, the Warriors look a little confused and Coach Career is definitely not happy. So we'll take a timeout. Rick's Auto and Truck Parts, a Parts Plus auto store, open seven days a week with free deliveries. Whether you need car parts or heavy-duty truck parts, you'll find them all at Rick's. Arrow, alternators, starters and clutches, Raybestos brake parts, air conditioner parts, gates, belts and hoses, black hawk tools, Wix filters, metric and John Deere hydraulic hoses. Hydraulic hoses cut to fit, up to one and a half inches in diameter. That's Rick's Auto and Truck Parts, Highway 16 in Emmett. It's football season at Alessi's Appliance, and if your TV set doesn't cut it anymore, score big at Alessi's on a new set of your choice. Credit, no problem. Home stereos, they've got them too. Name brand refrigerators and freezers. And don't forget that great variety of in-stock washer and dryer sets. They've got it all at Alessi's. Even the kitchen range. Don't wait. Call today. At Brumfield Motors and Amy, we take great pride in supporting Amy High football, and we also take great pride in serving all your transportation needs. Ford Motor Company, like Amy High football, is a winner. Five out of the top ten selling new vehicles in America today belong to Ford. F-Series, Ranger, Escort, Taurus, and Explorer are all number one. We also offer one of the largest selections of prior-owned cars and trucks in this parish. Program cars with low mileage, bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage save you thousands of dollars. I'm Buck Cotrere. For the best deal and the best service after the sale, come see me today at Brumfield Motors in Amy. Finn picks it up off the one bounce. Breaks to the outside. He's got one man to beat, two men to beat. He's going to turn on the speed. He's got to outrun Montre Walker. And he blows by them. 10, 5, and 6 for the Kangaroos. Terrell Hookpin, not only will he beat you with the pass, he can beat you with the run. That's why he returns punch and kickoffs, Marty. He sure does, Benny. He just turned, he just went straight up the gut and he turned it on, and there wasn't anybody catching him. Just good blocking and just a breakdown on the special teams. It happens to you every time. Just as we brag on their special teams, they make us look bad, Benny. That's a 90-yard kickoff run by Ter Terrell Hookfin to bring the Kentwood Kangaroos within one point, pending the PAT. And it looks like Kentwood will call a timeout to think about the extra point. Kangaroo's going to go for the lead with a two-point conversion. Terrell Hookfin under center has got two guys split out to the left, one receiver to the right. He drops back. He throws, and it's complete and good and a flag. Well, it might be incomplete. We're waiting to call. Pass interference is the call on... Numbers... Six, I believe, Stevie McGee. We're going to have to wait the final call here by the referees. If it's pass interference, Marty, it's going to be half the distance to the goal. Put the Kangaroos in a better situation as far as field wise here. And that's what the call is incomplete pass with pass interference. So they're about two and a half yard line. Same formation. Hookfin's going to try to push it in. And he does. Quarterback sneak right off the center in the guard for two point conversion. And the Kentwood Kangaroos go up eight to seven with 514 remaining in the first half. 
compliments both ways of Terrell Hookfin. Set to kick off, and Marty, guess who's kicking off? Number 11, Terrell Hookfin. I believe he does it all. He kicks up the middle. It's picked up by number six, Stevie McGee. He breaks to the far side, and he's hit hard at the 30-yard line by number 65 for the Kangaroos. M Monroe Addison. Benny Big Monroe came up and put a lick on him, and uh, these Kenwood Kangaroos are fired up. They've got an 8-7 lead with 5.07 to go in the game. Let's see what the Warriors counter with. Back in the game is number 14, Adrian Davis. Kendall Tate behind him. He's got he's got Obi Dillon out right. He's got Kelvin Willis. He overthrew Obi Dillon. Look for that again, that screen pass, and it just wasn't there. He overthrew him. Now PJ Franklin's going into the ball game. He's going to be one of the receivers. Most of the local fans know PJ is one of the uh, better basketball players in our area. Fabulous point guard from Amy High School, now playing football. Kendall Tate and number 30, Kevin Wilson in the backfield. Pass is incomplete as it's in and out of the hands of David Franklin. So it'll be third down and 10 for the Warriors as Delwyn Perkins comes into the ball game. And don't th think for a minute, Amy is not missing the services of number 12, Tyrus Mabry. Just a great all-purpose back. He can definitely catch the football and, and run the football. Davis under center. Got Perkins and McDowell spread out, or Dillon. Throws the ball and off the pads of Delwyn Perkins. The Warriors are catching the ball with their pads instead of their hands as, as that was a nice pass about 20 yards downfield that just went in and out of the hands of number 23, Delwyn Perkins. So the Warriors were 0 for 3 in passes that time. And they'll send Keith Burton back to punt once again. See if he can get a nice, another nice punt off. Back deep to receive for the Kangaroos is the double one, Terrell Hookfin. Short punt this time. Takes a warrior bounce. And Kent was going to take the ball at the warrior 48 yard line in great field position here. And we'll see if. Hook Finn and company can get something going right here. Benny Kentwood's definitely tightened up. They've, they've got the momentum off the special teams, off the Hook Finn kickoff return. They've, now they've got their ball in A-meet territory on the 48-yard line. Hook Finn and company coming up once again against this tough A-meet defense, and uh, A-meet's going to have to stiffen up and make a big play. Amy needs one of those great defensive plays. They're always doing nice pass right there in the 35. Quentin Hook Finn, and he just bulls his way through for the first down. Quentin Hook Finn, brother of Terrell Hook Finn, just caught, caught a little quick pass and took it 10 yards, 11 yards down the field. It's actually 12 yards, good enough for a first down. Just a quick, quick pass to the receiver. He took one step and it was about a 10-yard gain on the first signal. Had the Warrior sleeping a little bit, and it's going to bring up a first and 10 for these Kenwood Kangaroos. Hook Finn with Willis Williams behind him. Long back. He gives the Williams, and Williams goes nowhere up the middle as he's smothered by big number 65, Terrell Smith, and number 10, Returning second team all stater Montre Walker. I'll always remember Montre Walker for that interception. He caught and ran it back 50 yards last year in the playoff against Hannah. Big play at a key time. 
Coach Donald Career talking to his offense, going over strategies. Timeout on the field, charge the Kentwood Kangaroo. We got 3.33 remaining in the first half. The Kangaroos are up eight to seven. It was dry cleaning and laundry, 226 West Oak Street, Emmett. Convenient drive through window, fast, efficient service, expert alterations, drapes dry cleaned and pleated, household items, spreads and rugs, leather, suede and furs, pillows cleaned, fluffed, sanitized, deodorized and brand new ticking, cryo robe sales, tuxedo rentals, wedding gowns heirloomed, water and stain repellent, much, much more. That's Gazzardo's dry cleaning and laundry in Amit. The best fruits and vegetables anywhere. Try sunflower in Amit. A deli with fresh bread, vegetable party trays, fruit trays, and the famous high roller tray. Try sunflower in Amit. Ready for the oven stuffed meat dishes, barbecue, and party supplies. Try sunflower in Amit. Cakes and pastries of all sorts. Double manufacturer coupons every day. Senior citizen discount Tuesday and Thursday. Complete video department, both new and old movies. Try Sunflower in ME today. There are a few qualities you should look for when you need an attorney. Integrity, dedication, professionalism, hardworking, knowledgeable, and experience. Charles V. Jinko has these qualities. When you need legal assistance, call the professionals at the law offices of Charles V. Jinko, 108 East Mulberry Street, Amite, Louisiana, 748-8164. Join the winning team of Carrier Comfort Pro and Folks Refrigeration. Their reputation for excellent service and excellent quality just can't be matched around here. Let Randy Folks custom analyze your home for your specific heating and cooling needs. You could save thousands of dollars. Get peace of mind with your Carrier Comfort Pro dealer, Folks Refrigeration, 748-8838. We support winners. We believe in being the best. Drive-In Drugstore is proud to sponsor high school football for the 1993 season. The staff of Drive-In Drugstore prides itself on having fast, friendly and efficient service. Servicing the Amid area for almost 40 years, we want our customers to feel that they are receiving the very best in patient care. Visit us at 228 South 1st Street, Amid, next to the Sunflower Food Store for the best personal service anywhere. Seven for the Kangaroos. Terrell Hookfin with no backs. Two, two receivers to the near side, three to the far side. He drops, in fact, he's rolling. Got a man on him, and he's hit from behind by number, big number 62, Dalton Harrell. 6'1", 220-pound defensive end that came untouched from the far side and blindsided Terrell Hookfin right before he got ready to throw the ball, caused the fumble. So... Amy gets a break with 3.20 remaining. Davis brings the Warriors up to the line. Tries, throws over the middle to Wilson. Wilson gets a little running room. Goes all the way to the 40-yard 40 line, 40 line of the Kangaroos. Kevin Wilson, 5'11", 175-pound sophomore back who's replacing Tyrus Mabry tonight. Right now, Benny, Kelvin Wilson has definitely come to play for a sophomore. He's really showed a lot of poise and he's wanting to play. Adrian Davis has not missed all night. He's thrown excellent. But just as I speak, number 23 makes a beautiful interception. Will Dunn comes up hard and intercepts the ball. And Kentwood again. We'll get the ball. Good pass again by Davis. Right on target, but Will Dunn just came up and took it away, and Kent Woods starts at their own 33, first and 10. All right, get it back. What a play that time by Will Dunn as he just took it away from the wide receiver that time. So Hook Finn gets the ball back with his kangaroo troops with 254 remaining up by one, eight to seven. Kenyatta Brown and Willis Williams are the setbacks. 
Counter to Brown, he picks up two before he's hit by a host of, we, of Amy Warriors led by Montre Walker. Coach Donald Career, wanted timeout. His defense finally calls it. And as you were saying earlier, Mari, it's brother against brother, David and Donald in the second angel, Tangeli Jamboree. The Kangaroos have the ball, second and six, as Williams picked up four. Terrell Hook, Finn, and Williams in the backfield. One step drop, it's up and completed to Dunn. He's got it close to the, for looks like enough for the first down. And it's gonna be enough for the first down, first and 10 for the Kentwood Kangaroos at their own 44 yard line. 225 remaining in the first half of play. We've got a dog fight going on here. Don't leave us. Hook fin, split backs. Rolling out, he passes and it overthrows the outreached hands of number 21, Dedrick Cooper. Marty, I think one of the problems with, with Hook Finn throwing right now, when, it, when he has to roll out or t take more than three-step drop, the defensive line of A. Meade is putting pressure on him. They're closing, they're closing in the pocket. That's an excellent point, Benny. You're exactly right. A. Meade's using their, not only their size, but their quickness, and they're getting in on Hook Finn, who is using ex excellent athletic ability to avoid the rush and get the passes that he's getting off. He'll try it again with the split backfield. Will Dunn to the near side. He drops back deep and he goes in and out of the hands of his tight end, Quentin Hookfin. Had a receiver wide open down the field, Will Dunn. So it'll be third down and 10 for the Kangaroos. Amy defense here bending early in this series, but not breaking yet. That's typical of an A-meet defense, Benny. We saw it all, all last year. They would bend, but they wouldn't break. And uh, they're definitely up against a formidable opponent in the Kenwood Kangaroos, who have got some excellent receivers to go along with their excellent quarterback. Hook Finn tries it again. It's going to be a little screen pass. Read good by one guy. receiver. And there's the man, number 65, who does an excellent job of avoiding blockers. Gerald Smith and stopping number 10, Kenyatta Brown. There's a flag down. It looks to be against. We'll wait, and wait on the call. Clipping against the Kangaroos. Amy coaches want to decline the penalty. That's going to bring up a fourth down, and the Kangaroos will have to punt with 146. When I fool in the pits, I have a lot of confidence in my crew. But off the track, when my family car needs work, the last place I want to be is in the pits. So I come to Meineke for a discount price and real quality on mufflers, shocks, or brakes. Bobby, that'll make a good slogan. Bring your car to Meineke or you'll wind up in the pits. Jimmy, they've already got a great slogan. You're not going to pay a lot at Meineke. And you'll stay out of the pits. Thanks, Smitty Supply, and thanks, Satisfied Customer. The reason is simple. Smitty's always has in-stock merchandise to fill customers' orders because Smitty stocks over 25,000 parts numbers from quality manufacturers like Goodyear Belts and Hoses, Blue Chip Electrical, Blackhawk Tools, McCard Gaskets, and many more, celebrating 25 years of honest, dependable service and competitive prices. Smitty's is open seven days a week at their two locations, Big Four Auto Parts, Highway 51 Independence, and Smitty Supply, Highway 51 Arcola. Here with the offensive possession. Coach Career being emotional as usual. Hollering at his troops out there. Seems like Stevie McGee forgot to receive the ball and he let him know he needed to get back there and receive this punt. Punting for the Kangaroos is number 27, Tim Carter. Don't be 
surprised to see the rush on once again. A lot of time elapsing, Kentwood may be electing, and they do elect to take the delay of game, trying to force the Warriors to go off sides. Kentwood showing excellent discipline, especially early in the season, on the punt, not jumping off sides, as well as the Warriors showing excellent, excellent patience. So early on, two very well coached teams showed great patience on that play and it will be a five yard penalty delay game against the Kentwood Kangaroos and bring up a fourth down and looks to be 15 yards to go. Carter back to punt once again. We'll try it again. He gets the snap. He's going to get this one off. Short punt. Takes the kangaroo bounce. Was picked up by Travis Day. He's hit immediately, but he avoids one tackle before he's hit by about three kangaroos. Brought down by, there by number 21, Dedrick Cooper. So the Warriors have one more chance here before time runs out in the first half. We've got just over a minute remaining in the first half of play. Adrian Davis and company try to get some offensive production here. Hook Finn back in the ball game defensively for the Kangaroos. That's a safety. They meet with no backs in the backfield. They're going to spread everybody out. Three step drop. Got a receiver over the middle. That's Willis Williams who slips. Pass a little bit behind the receiver that time. Not one of uh, Davis's better passes today. No, Benny, it sure wasn't. A little, little overthrown, although the receiver did slip, I don't think he would have got the ball. That's, that's one of the few times that Davis has been off the mark. I've, I've really been impressed with, with his poise back there and his ability to get the ball on target. Davis once again, three-step drop. He's got a man he underthrows this time. Tried to throw the ball that time to David P.J. Franklin. Davis 0 for 2 this time. Marty, one thing I like to talk about is Davis is a senior. Amy's had three quarterbacks in three years and going to have four quarterbacks after next year, after next year's season. Coach Career obviously liked to go with the, with the senior leadership at the quarterback position. Davis is in action again. This time he completes it to Kendall Tate. Kendall's got a little rolling running room, and he's brought down by number four, Gerald Dangerfield. After a pickup of about 12 yards, it'll be first down and 10 from the Kangaroo 46 yard line. We've got 44 seconds remaining. Back to what I said, he definitely likes the senior leadership of that position. That's a good point, Benny. And anytime you got a senior back there, you know he's gonna be poised and he's gonna be, he's gonna be responsible. That time he hits Travis Day. 15 yards up the field, it'll be another first down. We've got 31 seconds remaining in the first half. Davis under center. Rolling out to the far side, he's got one receiver open. P.J. Franklin was triple covered and it had big number 80, O.B. Dillon open on the sideline over there, but elected to go inside and to the well-covered Franklin. It was in and out of his hands. We've got 20 seconds remaining. Incomplete pass will stop the clock. Travis Day comes in with the play from the sidelines. Davis under center. Screen pass this time and once again off the shoulder pads of Obi Dillon. 15 seconds remaining, third and 10. 
Benny, on that particular play, it looked like Adrian threw the ball a little too hard, but it was on target, and it uh, looks like Dylan tried to catch the ball with the pads instead of his hands like he's been taught. Well, Davis will try it again. Third and 10 rolling out to the left side. He's got a man open. It's Dylan this time, and he holds on to the ball. Just shy of the 15-yard line. Nine, nine seconds remaining. Great, good hit there by Tim Carter, defensive back from the Kangaroos. We got nine seconds remaining in the first half. Adrian Davis will try to punch it in the end zone here. Rolling out to the near side, he throws. And his hands hit as he tries to throw the football. Hit that time by number 69, Kendrick Wilson. And as a, as a result, Davis throws the ball short. And it looks like Coach Career is going to elect to go for the field goal on second down and 10 with two seconds remaining. Kicking the field goal will be number five, Fabian Franklin. It's up and it's going to be good. Thirty-seven yard field goal to run out the clock and give the Warriors the lead, ten to eight. As time runs out in the first half of play, don't go away. We've got a ball game right here. Amy Warriors ten, Kenwood Kangaroos eight. Hi. I'm Dr. Ned Mortello, owner of the Amy Chiropractic Center. I'm a sponsor of this year's Warrior Football Program. The key to winning is to have a well-engineered and successfully carried out game plan. Good Health also has a well-engineered game plan that deals basically with the spine and the nervous system. Sometimes health's game plan weakens due to accidents, some occupations, poor posture, sports injuries, and even stress that can cause us to develop problems such as headaches, neck, shoulder, arm, and elbow pain, as well as lower back, hip, leg, knee, and foot pain, and even muscle spasms and pinched nerves. It takes a great coach to be able to regroup his team that has fallen behind before it's too late and be victorious. To do this, he has to have the ability to see what adjustments need to be made in his game plan, make those adjustments, and come out with the win. It is the same ability that chiropractic can help you restore life's game plan for good health. If you suffer with pain, come join the winning team of thousands of chiropractic patients and start enjoying a pain-free, better health. Call my office at 748-8877 and schedule for a free spinal examination. I want to check your game plan for health, and I'll do it for free. Call 748-8877, and if you hurt, don't delay call today. Rick's Auto and Truck Parts, a Parts Plus auto store, open seven days a week with free deliveries. Whether you need car parts or heavy-duty truck parts, you'll find them all at Rick's. Arrow, alternators, starters and clutches, Raybestos brake parts, air conditioner parts, gates, belts and hoses, black hawk tools, Wix filters, metric and John Deere hydraulic hoses. Hydraulic hoses cut to fit up to one and a half inches in diameter. That's Rick's Auto and Truck Parts, Highway 16 in Emmett. It's football season at Alessi's Appliance, and if your TV set doesn't cut it anymore, score big at Alessi's on a new set of your choice. Credit, no problem. Home stereos, they've got them too. Name brand refrigerators and freezers. And don't forget that great variety of in-stock washer and dryer sets. They've got it all at Alessi's. Even the kitchen range. Don't wait. Call today. At Brumfield Motors and Amy, we take great pride in supporting Amy High football, and we also take great pride in serving all your transportation needs. Ford Motor Company, like Amy High football, is a winner. Five out of the top ten selling new vehicles in America today belong to Ford. F-Series, Ranger, Escort, Taurus, and Explorer are all number one. We also offer one of the largest selections of prior owned cars and trucks in this parish. Program cars with low mileage, bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage save you thousands of dollars. I'm Buck Cotrere. For the best deal and the best service after the sale, 
Come see me today at Brumfield Motors and Ame. Gazzardo's Dry Cleaning and Laundry, 226 West Oak Street, Ame. Convenient drive through window, fast, efficient service, expert alterations, drapes dry cleaned and pleated, household items, spreads and rugs, leather, suede, and furs, pillows cleaned, fluffed, sanitized, deodorized, and brand new ticking, cryo robe sales, tuxedo rentals, wedding gowns heirloomed, water and stain repellent, much, much more. That's Gazzardo's Dry Cleaning and Laundry in M. Eat. Best fruits and vegetables anywhere. Try sunflower and am eat. A deli with fresh bread, vegetable party trays, fruit trays, and the famous high roller tray. Try sunflower and am eat. Ready for the oven stuffed meat dishes, barbecue, and party supplies. Try sunflower and am eat. Cakes and pastries of all sorts. Double manufacture coupons every day. Senior citizen discount Tuesday and Thursday. Complete video department, both new and old movies. Try sunflower and am eat today. There are a few qualities you should look for when you need an attorney. Integrity, dedication, professionalism, hardworking, knowledgeable, and experience. Charles V. Jinko has these qualities. When you need legal assistance, call the professionals at the law offices of Charles V. Jinko, 108 East Mulberry Street, Amite, Louisiana, 748-8164. Join the winning team of Carrier Comfort Pro and Folks Refrigeration. Their reputation for excellent service and excellent quality just can't be matched around here. Let Randy Folks custom analyze your home for your specific heating and cooling needs. You could save thousands of dollars. Get peace of mind with your Carrier Comfort Pro dealer, Folks Refrigeration, 748-8838. We support winners. We believe in being the best. Drive-In Drugstore is proud to sponsor high school football for the 1993 season. The staff of Drive-In Drugstore prides itself on having fast, friendly, and efficient service. Servicing the Amid area for almost 40 years, we want our customers to feel that they are receiving the very best in patient care. Visit us at 228 South 1st Street, Amid, next to the Sunflower Food Store, for the best personal service anywhere. When I pull in the pits, I have a lot of confidence in my crew. But off the track, when my family car needs work, the last place I want to be is in the pits. So I come to Meineke for a discount price and real quality on mufflers, shocks, or brakes. Bobby, that'll make a good slogan. Bring your car to Meineke or you'll wind up in the pits. Jimmy, they've already got a great slogan. You're not going to fail a lot at Meineke and you'll stay out of the pits. Thanks Smitty Supply and thanks Satisfied Customer. The reason is simple. Smitty's always has in-stock merchandise to fill customers' orders because Smitty stocks over 25,000 parts numbers from quality manufacturers like Goodyear Belts and Hoses, Blue Chip Electrical, Blackhawk Tools, McCard Gaskets, and many more, celebrating 25 years of honest, dependable service and competitive prices. Smitty's is open seven days a week at their two locations, Big Four Auto Parts, Highway 51 Independence, and Smitty Supply, Highway 51 Arcola. Second half of play, this is Benny Latino. Now stepping in with us is our Daily Star Sports Editor, John Lenz, who just came back from the, the Hammond Jamboree, well, actually the Covington Jamboree, where Hammond played, and told me Hammond won 16-9, pretty good showing tonight. Yeah, they played a, a, a pretty solid game in uh, most respects. The only touchdown they gave up uh, defensively was uh, pretty much scored by Franklinton second string late in the game. Billy Taylor used a lot of players, and it wasn't just throwing them in there because it was 19 to nothing. He was working with the first unit extensively, and uh, evidently one of his obvious major goals was to get a little depth and develop a little depth going into the uh, start of the regular season. And uh, they looked pretty good. They had some problems with their pass protection. That broke down, and it kind of hurt their passing game, but their offense didn't miss a beat. Marty Oliver played well, ran the beer well, and I'm sure most of the fans are going to get a chance to see that game, and, and they'll see what I mean. But it was a 
pretty solid performance on the part of Hammond and a, and a good way to start. Of course, they've got a tough game next week at, up over at Acadiana. That will be a tough contest for the Hammond. By the way, that game has been televised on Tangibo Ho Television, and, and the local viewers can watch that this week. Getting ready to kick off right now for Kentwood is number four, Gerald Dangerfield. Back deep to receive is Montre Walker, and number five for Amy, Fabian Franklin. Pretty good ball game thus far in this ball game. I know you missed the first, first two ball games. But this is the feature match of the Jamboree here. And what about the, both these teams? Well, I tell you, this is what it's all about. You sure would like to see these two teams meet in the regular season. I'm not sure it might not be as good a game because of, uh, Amy would have so much more depth. But uh, it's, a, it's a heck of a matchup for a Jamboree for sure. I tell you, it, it really has been an interesting uh, a ball game. One of the guys, that players that I'm really impressed with is Terrell Hookfin. I knew that Terrell Hookfin was an exceptional athlete and a good passer. But I also saw Terrell Hookfin running with the football today. He punts, he kicks off, he does a, he's a, receives punts and kickoffs. He's just a multi-talented athlete. Yeah, I think the question this year for him is that his supporting cast is going to be a little bit younger than it has been. They've had the last two years David Lewis and, and Jerry Taylor, two tremendous money players. They've got to find somebody to fill that role and, and compliment Terrell Hookfin. Well, right there, uh, Adrian Davis is sacked behind the line of referees blow the, the the ball dead looks like about a three yard loss right there turning to, to the other side of the ball a meet their defense is strong offenses struggle at times we kind of expected that a little bit well this is definitely the time to catch this is going to be a team that you want to see uh, early on if you got a chance because if they get it in tune and getting it get it clicking they're going to be awfully tough and they've shown flashes of that uh, we were talking before we went on the air here during the halftime, and the key is going to be how Adrian Davis handles it mentally, the ups and downs of being a quarterback. You're going to have balls dropped. You're going to have bad throws. You're going to get sacked. If he can stay cool and stay calm and just roll with the punches, he's going to be real good. There you see him on the quarterback keeper. He picks up about four yards before he, he's tackled by a host of uh, Kenwood Kangaroos, led by number 56, Darius Newton turning all-state player. They've got some pretty good players on, on, on defensive side of the ball for both these teams. Definitely. I, I see both these teams as being legitimate statewide contenders this year. I think in, in their various classes, Kentwood dropping down to 1A. And with a quarterback like Hook Finn, uh, you know, that's the great teams have the great quarterbacks, and both these teams potentially have it. I think Kentwood definitely already has. Adrian has to develop that kind of reputation. Yeah! Well, there's Adrian right there on a good pass. Completed to number 13, Travis Day. Pick up about 22 yards, 23 yards. Both passes he's thrown today have been complete. That might be a good sign. He, he could possibly, he's got to pick out favorite receivers, and it's possibly it could be one of them right here. Travis is senior, and has been competing at varsity level for three years, doing a good job. I like Amy's execution offensively. I think they really are performing maybe at a, at a higher caliber than they were last year at this time. Again, the, the throw and pass connection has been iffy at times, but when they get the receivers to catch the ball and hang on to it and, and Adrian gets a little confidence in him, this is going to be a very tough defense, offense to stop. Right there with the counter, it's stop, stopped there by number 44, Willis Williams, who's had a great ball game all night tonight. One thing I... I, I point I brought out earlier when talking to Marty was that in the last three years, Amy's had three quarterbacks. Next year, Her uh, Davis being a, a senior, they'll have four quarterbacks. Coach career, electing to go with the seniors, maybe to get, maybe to get that leadership quality. I would guess he did, but uh, I, from what I can tell, Adrian just went out and earned the job. And I mean, you got to give it to your best guy, and he happens to be a senior. But I, I kind of, I, it, it, the point that I think you're getting to, and I agree with it, if this team can ever develop a young quarterback where they, that will start as a sophomore and a junior, by the time they get to be a senior, they could well be unstoppable. I'm waiting to see if uh, uh, A. Mead will, will bring one of those young quarterbacks up through the system, somebody will arise. And as we're talking, Adrian picks up about nine yards on the carry. And that's good enough for a first, a first, actually 11 yards on the carry, good enough for a first down. It'll be first and 10 from the 30-yard line, Kentwood Kangaroo 30-yard line, and Davis will bring the truce to the line. Give us up the middle of Kendall Tatey, bulls forward for about a three, four-yard pickup before he stopped by once again number 56, Darius Newton. Let's talk about some of these other teams we saw today. I was really impressed with Independence. They execute. They, they might not have quite the talent that they had 
last year. When you, you, you miss some big, big name players, but they execute as well as anybody I've ever seen at this stage of the ball game. First, first week. Well, I think the thing about Independence is, is that when you got a Joe Harris, you know, you got to ride that horse. This year, he's not back there, and and you know, Darren Brister is going to be an excellent back. But there's not going to be that sense of, you know, when you got a weapon like a Joe Harris, you got to use him. So I think what's, what you're going to see out of Independence is they're going to be more diverse this year. They're going to do more things, and for that reason, they're going to be more dangerous. And that, in turn, is going to open things up, I think, a little more for Darren Brister. Teams would stack on Joe Harris, and they still couldn't stop him last year. You know, you got a guy like that, you got to go with him. But this year, I think uh, Coach Baglio is going to have a good opportunity to do some other things. And uh, they're going to be awfully dangerous. And, uh, you know, that, they're a fun team to watch, always have been. Even with Harris, they weren't one-dimensional. This year, they're going to be even more interesting to watch offensively. Well, Coach Carrera and his quarterback, Adrian Davis, electing to go to Kendall Tate three times in a row. He bulls his way forward. It's going to be close to the first down. It's going to be about... It's going to be about first and uh, fourth and about one. Stopped again by number 15, Corey Newton. Taylor. Newton and we're talking right there, Darius Newton on attack, and we've been talking about him. All, or he's a returning first team All State defensive player. Uh, Kentwood always has a linebacker. Byron Cooper, uh, before uh, uh, David Lewis has played back there, Jerry Taylor, they've always had some really outstanding players at that position. Newton is the latest to come along, and he's a little bit bigger than those other guys, maybe not as fast, but he's a he's a big, strong kid and uh, excellent excellent football player, the heart of that defense for sure. Well, they've got a good defense, and they've, they've, hold the, they've held the, the A-Meet Warriors, a, a, a bigger offensive line team, pretty good tonight. This is the first really substantial long-term drive that the Warriors have had tonight. They've taken the initial kickoff and marched down the field, but they've yet to score. It's going to be fir uh, first and 10 from a 19-yard line. Adrian Davis bring his troops to the line, but behind him, number 33, Kendall Tate. Quarterback keeper, and he's going to be stuffed. Doesn't look like he picked up any yards on, on on that play. But I think you're right, as we were saying earlier, the key is how he develops not just the physical aspect, but the mental aspect of the ball game. Davis has got to learn that, hey, when you're a throwing quarterback on a throwing team, they're not going to catch every pass. Yeah, and that's uh, the whole thing is mental because it, you can take yourself out of the game real easily. And he's in a position where mentally he has to be in tune on every play, ready on every play in order to make the decisions in this offense. But this is what you want to see if you're an A-Meet fan. You want to see them moving the ball you know, the short control passing game, you want to see that long drive because that indicates that you're staying away from mistakes, you're executing, and so far on this drive they've done that, although we've got a flag on this play, looks like they might have been off sides when they lined up. That's exactly what it is right there. It's going to push them back five yards. It'll be second down and 14 to go for the Warriors. Kenny Gardner on the call. Yeah, I, I was getting took the words right out of my mouth. On the call right there is Kenny Gardner, and he looks good in stripes. Oh, doesn't he? Got a whole host of referees here. They working the referees. This is their uh, jamboree too. They're getting a lot of experience this, this first weekend of the football season. Franklin and Dylan spread out to the far side. He throws it in the Tate underneath, and he's hit hard. And stop right there by number 35, Quentin Hookfin. Tate coming in off an injury. You hate to see a hit like that one. That did not look pretty, but he, apparently he's going to be okay. Yeah. Of course, Tyrus Mabry is still not playing tonight, so Amy does not cannot really afford to lose a, another running back. How big of a of a disadvantage does that put Amy? Uh, I know they've got a host of di uh, of quality backs, but Tyrus Mabry, one of the better backs in the state and a multi-dimensional back. He can catch the ball he, 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 out of the backfield. He runs the ball. He, he's just a good all-around running back. Maybe A. Meets the only th only team. Adrian Davis rolling out, throwing out to the right flat, incomplete. A. Meet might be the only team in the state that could perform on this level without a player of Tyrus Mabry's caliber, but you add him back into the lineup and the things that they do with him, moving out of a slot, uh, bringing him out of the backfield, spreading him out wide, makes them that much them that much more difficult to defend against because you got to know where 12 is on the field at all times 
and sometimes when he gets away, he's going to burn you big time. Well, we've got a timeout on the field. Coach Donald Career electing to talk to his offensive troops right right now. Let's talk a little bit of, about some of the other teams. First game, we, we saw uh, Laranja, Laranja win by a touchdown, and they got, they've got a pretty good team, a big offensive and defensive line, very big. Right back to what Jimmy Morris has always historically done at LaRange, your big line up in front. They all come back intact from last year. You got the quality running back in, in Heath Faust. Now, he didn't play tonight, but he's really one of the best multidimensional players in this area. I'm not sure. I, I just haven't decided whether I like him more as a running back or as a middle linebacker, but he's a marauder on defense. You gotta, you've got to get him blocked if you're going to go do anything against LaRange. And as a running back, he's tough, hard-nosed. And he'll give it up for the team. Last year, uh, when they had Marlon Will Williams back there running the football, he was coming off a 1,400-yard season, and yet he subjugated himself to the offense, and Williams got more of the glory last year, and he did a lot of the blocking. Now he's the featured back as a tailback, and it's going to be fun to watch him play. Look forward to seeing Heath Faust back in the uniform playing. Nice pass over the middle to Obi Dillon by Adrian Davis. Good route. Good pass, right? At, spread the defense out and hit him right over the middle, and that's the kind of poise it takes to be a successful A.M.E. quarterback. He didn't throw the ball; he waited for the receiver to break and get in the open. And hit a good job of hitting him right in stride. Yeah, that's a nice play there, uh, Dylan, coming from the slot on the right side with a slant toward the post and perfect route, perfect throw, and they beat the defense right up the middle with it. Well, they're going to go up 16-8. Find the P.A.T. is going to be Franklin. That's Fabian Franklin with 5.02. It's blocked by number 35, Quentin Hookfin. So the score now with 5.02 remaining in, in the ball game. Amy 16, Kentwood 8. Rick's Auto and Truck Parts, a Parts Plus auto store, open seven days a week with free deliveries. Whether you need car parts or heavy-duty truck parts, you'll find them all at Rick's. Arrow, alternators, starters and clutches, Raybestos brake parts, air conditioner parts, gates, belts and hoses, Blackhawk tools, Wix filters, metric and John Deere hydraulic hoses. Hydraulic hoses cut to fit, up to one and a half inches in diameter. That's Rick's Auto and Truck Parts, Highway 16 in Amite. It's football season at Alessi's Appliance, and if your TV set doesn't cut it anymore, score big at Alessi's on a new set of your choice. Credit, no problem. Home stereos, they've got them too. Name brand refrigerators and freezers. And don't forget that great variety of in-stock washer and dryer sets. They've got it all at Alessi's. Even the kitchen range. Don't wait. Call today. At Brumfield Motors and Amy, we take great pride in supporting Amy High football, and we also take great pride in serving all your transportation needs. Ford Motor Company, like Amy High football, is a winner. Five out of the top ten selling new vehicles in America today belong to Ford. F-Series, Ranger, Escort, Taurus, and Explorer are all number one. We also offer one of the largest selections of prior owned cars and trucks in this parish. Program cars with low mileage, bumper to bumper coverage save you thousands of dollars. I'm Buck Cotrera. For the best deal and the best service after the sale, come see me today at Brumfield Motors in Amy. Gazzardo's Dry Cleaning and Laundry, 226 West Oak Street, Amy. Convenient drive through window, fast, efficient service, expert alterations, drapes dry cleaned and pleated, household items, spreads and rugs, leather, suede and furs, pillows cleaned, fluffed, sanitized, deodorized and brand new ticking, cryo robe sales, tuxedo rentals, wedding gowns heirloomed, water and stain repellent, much, much more. That's Gazzardo's Dry Cleaning and Laundry in M. Eat. Well, good group. Ball's being juggled around there. Finally picked up by number 15, Corey Taylor. And he's going to be stopped about the 10-yard line by a host of Amy Warriors and the tides have turned right, right here. And we've got a new quarterback in the ball game. It's number 27, Tim Carter. Hmm? And Terrell Hookfin is injured. Thank you, John. John's leaving. Ter Terrell Hookfin is injured. That's the third quarterback injured today. Marty, John walks out. I'll be joined again once by Marty Morgan. And that is not a good sign for the Amy Warrior. Looks like he might just be a cramp or something over there or got the breath knocked out of him the way he's, he's laying down over there. 
hopefully it's nothing serious and he is the heart and soul of his team and we definitely wish that he gets back in the uniform very soon you're definitely right benny as he's gone out you can see that the kentwood kangaroos are definitely not the same team without him number although 27 filling in admirably and he's it, they're just not the same without hook fin what can you say benny listening to you and john talk it was a it was a very very good uh john is very knowledgeable of course he writes about these teams every day and y'all he made some interesting points and uh it's just good to have a man a man to talk to that can help me and you both out <clears throat> and that knows the knows the area like like he does you're right marty john does a good a great job has done a great job for years here with the daily star small market paper uh but now he's he's finally got, got some help looks like they're attending to uh terrell hookfin got quite a few people over there the best fruits and vegetables anywhere try sunflower and am eat a deli with fresh bread vegetable party trays fruit trays and the famous high roller tray try sunflower and am eat ready for the oven stuffed meat dishes barbecue and party supplies try sunflower and am eat cakes and pastries of all sorts Double manufacturer coupons every day. Senior citizen discount Tuesday and Thursday. Complete video department, both new and old movies. Try Sunflower and Am Eat today. There are a few qualities you should look for when you need an attorney. Integrity, dedication, professionalism, hardworking, knowledgeable, and experience. Charles V. Jinko has these qualities. When you need legal assistance, call the professionals at the law offices of Charles V. Jinko, 108 East Mulberry Street, Amite, Louisiana, 748-8164. Join the winning team of Carrier Comfort Pro and Folks Refrigeration. Their reputation for excellent service and excellent quality just can't be matched around here. Let Randy Folks custom analyze your home for your specific heating and cooling needs. You could save thousands of dollars. Get peace of mind with your Carrier Comfort Pro dealer, Folks Refrigeration, 748-8838. We support winners. We believe in being the best. Drive In Drugstore is proud to sponsor high school football for the 1993 season. The staff of Drive In Drugstore prides itself on having fast, friendly, and efficient service. Servicing the Amid area for almost 40 years, we want our customers to feel that they are receiving the very best in patient care. Visit us at 228 South 1st Street, Amid, next to the Sunflower Food Store, for the best personal service anywhere. To punt now for Kentwood Kangaroos is number 27, the backup quarterback, Tim Carter. He gets off a short little punt, but it takes a Kentwood bounce. It's finally touched down by number 56, Darius Newton. So the Warriors will take over first and 10 from their own, from the Kangaroo 25 yard line. Three twelve remaining. They meet up 16 to 8. And we've had a, a series of quarterback injuries, and we hope all of them are not serious. Definitely, Terrell Hook fans look the most serious, and we, we hope he's okay. Handoff is the Williams. He's around the right side. He's got one man to beat, and he's finally knocked down. There by number 41, Albert Baptiste. Got 255 remaining in ticking the Warriors probably like to put some more points on the board right here two thirty remaining and Adrian Davis is going to call timeout 
Thank Smitty Supply and thank Satisfied Customer. The reason is simple. Smitty's always has in-stock merchandise to fill customers' orders because Smitty stocks over 25,000 parts numbers from quality manufacturers like Goodyear Belts and Hoses, Blue Chip Electrical, Blackhawk Tools, McCard Gaskets, and many more. Celebrating 25 years of honest, dependable service and competitive prices. Smitty's is open seven days a week at their two locations, Big Four Auto Parts, Highway 51 Independence, and Smitty Supply, Highway 51 Arcola. I pull in the pits, I have a lot of confidence in my crew. But off the track, when my family car needs work, the last place I want to be is in the pits. So I come to Meineke for a discount price and real quality on mufflers, shocks, or brakes. Bobby, that'll make a good slogan. Bring your car to Meineke or you'll wind up in the pits. Jimmy, they've already got a great slogan. You're not going to pay a lot at Meineke. And you'll stay out of the pits. Davis under center. Nice play as he gets the ball up to Kendall Tate, and he's knocked down by number number 44. Of course, it's good enough for the first down. That'll stop the clock with 2:26 remaining. Adrian Davis under center once again by him Kendall Tate he gives the Kendall Tate he's knocked down by number four from Kentwood Gerald Dangerfield along with number 44 once again Willis Williams 150 and ticking ball game now for a meet Travis Day coming in also little number 25 Adrian Harrell Kendall Tate pulls his way over the line, gets close to the goal line before he's finally stopped. By number 56, Darius Newton. Kendall Tate going right off the butt of big number 60, Rusty Barrelou, who just drove his defensive lineman back about five, six yards. Toward the end of this ball game, Marty, you can see Kentwood starting to wear down a little bit. They've got a lot of kids going both ways. Uh, Darius Newton, Willis Williams, quite a few more. Tara Hookfin, who's now gone. Uh, number 10 is Kenyatta Brown. They've, they've, number 35, Quentin Hookfin. Just a bunch of kids going both ways. Number 27, Tim Carter. It's, it's starting to wear down now, and you, and you can see it. And that's, that's probably been the difference in this ball game. Davis gives to Tate again. Tate's hit hard by number 56, Darius Newton. And number 10, Kenyatta Brown. I tell you what, Benny, Darius Newton has been all over this field. He's not leaving nothing on this field. He's made tremendous play after play. And he's, he's definitely a great stalwart in the middle for the Kentwood Kangaroos. Brings up a second goal for the Warriors. Second and goal from about the four-yard line. Adrian Davis gives to Tate again. No, he's going to keep it as a busted play, and he's going to be swamped by a bunch of kangaroos. Loses about two yards on the play, and you got to give credit to the kangaroos. Ball games, for all intents and purposes, is over with, but they're still swarming over there as a defensive unit. What they're going to do really here ultimately is stop Amy from scoring once again and uh, putting more points on the board to make the score margin a little bigger. So you got to get a hand to both teams that both played their, their hearts out, and we hope all the, all the kids that were injured tonight, it's nothing serious. You're exactly right, Benny. So the final score, Amy's 16 and Kentwood 8. Truck Parts, a Parts Plus auto store, open seven days a week with free deliveries. Whether you need car parts or heavy-duty truck parts, you'll find them all at Rick's. Arrow, alternators, starters and clutches, Raybestos brake parts, air conditioner parts, gates, belts and hoses, Blackhawk tools, Wix filters, 
metric and John Deere hydraulic hoses. Hydraulic hoses cut to fit, up to one and a half inches in diameter. That's Rick's Auto and Truck Parts, Highway 16 in Emmett. It's football season at Alessi's Appliance, and if your TV set doesn't cut it anymore, score big at Alessi's on a new set of your choice. Credit, no problem. Home stereos, they've got them too. Name brand refrigerators and freezers. And don't forget that great variety of in-stock washer and dryer sets. They've got it all at Alessi's. Even the kitchen range. Don't wait. Call today. At Brumfield Motors and Amy, we take great pride in supporting Amy High football, and we also take great pride in serving all your transportation needs. Ford Motor Company, like Amy High football, is a winner. Five out of the top ten selling new vehicles in America today belong to Ford. F-Series, Ranger, Escort, Taurus, and Explorer are all number one. We also offer one of the largest selections of prior owned cars and trucks in this parish. Program cars with low mileage, bumper to bumper coverage save you thousands of dollars. I'm Buck Cotrere. For the best deal and the best service after the sale, come see me today at Brumfield Motors in Amy. Gazzardo's Dry Cleaning and Laundry, 226 West Oak Street, Amy. Convenient drive through window, fast, efficient service, expert alterations, drapes dry cleaned and pleated, household items, spreads and rugs, leather, suede and furs, pillows cleaned, fluffed, sanitized, deodorized and brand new ticking, cryo robe sales, tuxedo rentals, wedding gowns heirloomed, water and stain repellent, much, much more. That's Gazzardo's dry cleaning and laundry in Amit. The best fruits and vegetables anywhere, try sunflower in Amit. A deli with fresh bread, vegetable party trays, fruit trays, and the famous high roller tray. Try sunflower and Amit. Ready for the oven stuffed meat dishes, barbecue, and party supplies. Try sunflower and Amit. Cakes and pastries of all sorts. Double manufacturer coupons every day. Senior citizen discount Tuesday and Thursday. Complete video department, both new and old movies. Try sunflower and Amit today. There are a few qualities you should look for when you need an attorney. Integrity, dedication, professionalism, hardworking, knowledgeable, and experience. Charles V. Jinko has these qualities. When you need legal assistance, call the professionals at the law offices of Charles V. Jinko, 108 East Mulberry Street, Amite, Louisiana, 748-8164. Join the winning team of Carrier Comfort Pro and Folks Refrigeration. Their reputation for excellent service and excellent quality just can't be matched around here. Let Randy Folks custom analyze your home for your specific heating and cooling needs. You could save thousands of dollars. Get peace of mind with your Carrier Comfort Pro dealer, Folks Refrigeration, 748-8838. We support winners. We believe in being the best. In Drugstore is proud to sponsor high school football for the 1993 season. The staff of Drive-In Drugstore prides itself on having fast, friendly, and efficient service. Servicing the Amid area for almost 40 years, we want our customers to feel that they are receiving the very best in patient care. Visit us at 228 South 1st Street, Amid, next to the Sunflower Food Store, for the best personal service anywhere. When I pull in the pits, I have a lot of confidence in my crew. But off the track, when my family car needs work, the last place I want to be is in the pits. So I come to Meineke for a discount price and real quality on mufflers, shocks, or brakes. Bobby, that'll make a good slogan. Bring your car to Meineke or you'll wind up in the pits. Jimmy, they've already got a great slogan. You're not gonna pay a lot at Meineke and you'll stay out of the pits. Thanks Smitty Supply and thanks Satisfied Customer. The reason is simple. Smitty's always has in-stock merchandise to fill customers' orders because Smitty stocks over 25,000 parts numbers from quality manufacturers like Goodyear Belts and Hoses, Blue Chip Electrical, Blackhawk Tools, McCard Gaskets, and many more, celebrating 25 years of honest, dependable service and competitive prices. Smitty's is open seven days a week at their two locations, Big Four Auto Parts, Highway 51 Independence, and Smitty Supply, Highway 51 Arcola. Hi, I'm Dr. Ned Mortello, owner of the Amy Chiropractic Center. I'm a sponsor of this year's Warrior Football Program. The key to winning is to have a well-engineered and successfully carried out game plan. Good Health also has a well-engineered game plan. 
that deals basically with the spine and the nervous system. Sometimes health game plan weakens due to accidents, some occupations, poor posture, sports injuries, and even stress that can cause us to develop problems such as headaches, neck, shoulder, arm, and elbow pain, as well as lower back, hip, leg, knee, and foot pain, and even muscle spasms and pinched nerves. It takes a great coach to be able to regroup his team that has fallen behind before it's too late and be victorious. To do this, he has to have the ability to see what adjustments need to be made in his game plan, make those adjustments, and come out with the win. It is this same ability that chiropractic can help you restore life's game plan for good health. If you suffer with pain, come join the winning team of thousands of chiropractic patients and start enjoying a pain-free, better health. Call my office at 748-8877 and schedule for a free spinal examination. I want to check your game plan for health, and I'll do it for free. Call 748-8877. If you hurt, don't delay. Call today.